Welcome back everybody, it's Lance from Cuss Brush. Helping my brother out today. His tractor sorta, of, it's got a little wear and tear on it. Let's just put it up like that. And he's gotta get some things fixed on it. It's been a good one so far. We've had it for a long time. Found for some TLC. So that's what we're gonna give it. We are gonna fix some areas. He's got some dikes that need to be fixed. Dirt pushed back up on them so that it's drivable and the areas dressed up and look a little bit better so that's what i'm gonna do today uh either way we're gonna uh get this thing set up like it needs to be glad you guys are watching i just hope you guys are enjoying the videos because i enjoy making them and i know the few that do watch i appreciate every time you do it and every time you comment so again like i said thank you guys uh, see you on the next one All right, everybody. A couple things we're gonna fix over here at the farm. Water's eroded it away. I call, it a, I call them dikes around here. But the dike is wore out. Wore out not only here, but in multiple places. Another one right here. I mean, it's pretty considerable. But all the dirt has settled right down and in here. So what I'm gonna think about is pulling all this up and transporting it back, transplanting it back. The only thing I've got an issue with right now is that right there. That's a nasty storm headed right towards us. So I'm gonna set it up, uh, probably throw it on a time lapse because that's just the quickest thing to do so this storm don't get to me, but uh, we'll come back to it another day if it does do that, but anyways, uh, like and subscribe guys. I'd, I'd love for you guys to keep track of what I'm doing. Uh, I enjoy doing this, I enjoy filming it. Takes a little more time and can be a bit of a headache sometimes, but I love it. I mean, it's worth the headache. So I'm Lance from Honeycutt's Brush. See you in a little bit. So you're gonna question why I didn't do this part right here. Saw me try to pick it up already. And <laughs> the cows have leaned on it, used it as a scratching post and it's just pulled it right over. So we're gonna have to raise it back up, put some more concrete around it to get it in the ground. But I cut out right here, cause this is where all the dirt went and settled. Uh, pulled some from up there to sort of level it down. But we're gonna, 
later on I'm going to fill all that in anyways. Uh, but hopefully you got a good look at the storm. Uh, I decided to come up here first thinking this was going to be our wettest spot because this is just where water settles. So I wanted to do that first and then go over here to the dikes and work on the dikes. So uh, now that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start working that way. And just, I, I drove over it enough to let it pack in. Hopefully this rain comes in and settles it right on in. Uh, but if all else fails, we'll have to put a rock down. That's the last resort thing. We can always put more dirt back, but <clears throat> that's just where we're at. So I'm going to move over here to this one and knock this dike out on this side over here. Day one, sort of, you know, afternoon one, let's put it that way, afternoon one. All I'm trying to do here is just put dirt back. It doesn't have to look pretty. I want it to serve a purpose. So what I did was I pulled from some down here. It'll all wash back in the hole, you know, in due time. But that was where the dirt had gone anyways. So I just pulled from here and I pushed it back up. Now, one thing I've learned with putting dikes back in. As you can sort of see my skid steer is leaning back. I put more dirt than there needed to be where that crevice was. The whole reason behind that is you're gonna continue to drive over it. And the more you continue to drive over it, the more it's gonna wear down, the more your tires are gonna pick up dirt, the more it's just gonna travel. And you don't want it to wear completely out again. So, Anytime I've done them, if I leave them too low, they wash right back out. I always like going to be a little bit higher and assess the damage later on the other sides because that's where grass is. Grass is a good buffer for water. Uh, if it's just pure dirt, it's always going to wash away. But anyways, I'm going to come back another day and I'm going to knock out the rest of these probably tomorrow if I'm free. I might have some jobs I need to do. But... Um, I'll talk to you then. Anyways, see you around. It rained pretty good last night, so the ground's nice and soft. Now, the tricky thing about this area is going to be it's low. And this is where all the water runs to. As you can see, sort of declines downhill all the way down into this spot. So all the water's going to run right here. So I got to build this up high enough to where it's not going to wash away with one heavy rain. I know a lot of you are probably gonna be suggesting me put rock down. We are gonna put rock down later. Uh, just right now, I wanted to make sure that everything is fixed back, finished up, so that when the rock comes, it's gonna have something hard to put on. Because if you don't have that base, it's not gonna stay. Even the rock will erode with the water.
that's all I'm gonna do today. But as you can see, the cows absolutely love it. I know when I was putting the <laughs> piles of dirt down, they were rubbing all in it. I was just trying to get the dirt back in the hole. They'll pack it all in for me, so I don't really need to do a whole lot on the inside. I'm sure they'll be laying down in there in no time. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little help around the farms, all I was doing today. This wasn't a real job. It was just something that we were trying to get done. Um, but should be a video of me mulching coming out in the next day or two. Uh, I got a job literally tomorrow that I'm going to be doing right across the street. So uh, hopefully you guys will stay tuned and subscribe and like and watch the next one. So anyways, uh, appreciate your time. I'm Lance Winnicus Brush. See you in the next one.